There was a huge controversy over Tipu Sultan in the state of Karnataka just a few weeks back. And even as we, as we recall that controversy, there is another controversy that's brewing in the Delhi Assembly. On the occasion of Republic Day, that is yesterday, you had Arvind Kejriwal unveiling portraits of freedom fighters, eminent personalities, at least 69 of them. But when the portrait of Tipu Sultan was unveiled, the BJP and the Shirumani Akali Dal created some ruckus. Yes. There were members of the BJP asked why Tipu Sultan has been included in the list. Now you've got the Assembly Speaker, Delhi Assembly Speaker, Ram Nivas Goyal, saying that BJP is always trying to create some issue or the other. They were asked to give names of prominent leaders from the BJP and RSS, but they couldn't come up with any names. नहीं नहीं अंग्रेजों के खिलाफ जो भी लड़ाई लड़ेगा हम उसको अपने सर पर नहीं बैठाएंगे जो भारत और भारतीयता और भारत में जो उनका अपना वो रहा है उसके बारे में लोग उनको जो है उनका एक अच्छा वो नहीं रहा है कि जिससे कि लोग उनको एक महिमा मंडित करें तो कहीं ना कहीं जो उनका इतिहास है वो भारतीयता के लिए हमारे अनुकूल नहीं रहा है नहीं नहीं हमें शहीद भगत सिंह जी की लगाएं अब जो देश के जो वो है सर्वमान्य नेता हैं उनकी लगाएं ये तो अच्छी बात है लेकिन आप इस तरह के लोगों को जो आक्रामकता जिन्होंने जो है देश के अंदर इस प्रकार के कार्य किए हैं और जो विवाद आसपास हैं उनको यदि आप लगाते हैं तो कहीं ना कहीं लोगों की भावना को ठेस पहुंचती है all right, uh, with that, we take a short break here on Republic TV. Don't go anywhere. This is a story that we continue to track. Yes, first up. 13 dead, 3 injured as a minibus fell into a river in Kolhapur. The bus was travelling from the coastal city of Ratnagiri to Kolhapur and the driver lost control and the bus fell into a river. A petrol bomb was hurled at Prakash Theatre in Karnataka where Padmavat is being screened. Late last night, unidentified bike-borne miscreants hurled a petrol bomb at the theatre. The explosion sparked panic among the audience. However, no one was injured. The Governor of Tripura has said that rail sabotage is taking place. Tothogat Roy, Governor of Tripura, has tweeted that cases of sabotage of newly laid rail tracks were being reported very frequently. And Republic TV's Anas Malik spoke to India's new envoy to Pakistan, Ajay Bisarya. Let's listen in. The, our common enemy uh, is, is poverty, is disease, is illiteracy. And if we get together, these two countries, to fight these enemies, we will do a much better job. For the first time ever, Kamal Hassan has officially confirmed his entry into politics. He is not signed in as anything else but a politician. Kamal Hassan signing in as politician at a student meet in Chennai is an exclusive that Republic TV is bringing to you. We have Sanjeevi joining us live for more than that. Sanjeevi, talk to us, tell us all about this meeting where Kamal Hassan has signed in at the register as a politician. Well, exactly. The actor turned into, you know, a politician, Kamal Hassan actually participated in a college uh, meeting today very interacted with a lot of students so while he entered inside the college you know uh, there used to be a feedback form and also registrar where he wrote as a politician so that is an uh, information which are giving you now so Kamal Hassan in the recent past you know in the recent two to three months after his political uh, you know plunge and also after his political announcements parting in, participating in a lot of such uh, public events you know before uh, before this uh, when he was acting in movies he used to just only act in movies he doesn't even participate in any such kind of events but you know after his political entry you know he's going to announce his political party's uh, name on 21st of this month at his uh, native place uh, Rameshwaram so as of now Kamal Hassan is uh, actually participating in a lot of such programs and uh, remember Krishna this is a program which happened in a private college uh, you know an outskirt of Chennai at Thambram so even he took questions from the people questions from the students who were standing there and he also told that you know the students are also leaders and I came here to meet the leaders 
at the same time while parties like dmk and admk are still you know standing on the street corner and conducting such kind of meetings public meetings kamal hasan has chosen to go to the students who is going to be the new voters and also who is going to be the you know a future a citizens uh, and now he is going there to interact with them and to spread uh, his kind of ideologies uh, among the people there so that is the information which we are giving now as i mentioned he is trying to you know venture out the new kind of politics here in tamil nadu he is uh, using the twitter remember for the past 6 months he has been using twitter to spread his ideas and also to give his comments uh, while other leaders uh, you know started following him at the same time while other leaders uh, parties like dmk admk are still conducting public meetings on the roads uh, kamal hasan has chosen to you know uh, keep the young voters to try to target the young voters to by participating in such kind of college events krishna right uh, and uh, sanjeevi we've been talking about this about kamal hasan and the way he will enter politics as you rightly pointed out it's a very innovative way to enter politics and more more than anything else the way he is signed in he is signaling the fact that he is a full time politician now this even as he is going on a state wide tour across tamil nadu well exactly krishna is very keen this time kamal hasan is very keen we also in fact hear that his movie you know sabash naidu is also going to be skipped because of its political plans uh, that's what we have been hearing so the vishwarupam 2 will be released because the movie is almost over and indian 2 will be taken play uh, taking place after 6 months so he uh, you know he skipped the movie named uh, uh, you know uh, sabash nadu which is ex- which has created a lot of expectation because of political plans so kamal hasan is going to start uh, kick start his political uh, journey from february 21st where he is going to you know start his journey from the residence of uh, former uh, indian president apj abdul kalam so he is going to announce his political plans he is going to have a public meeting there where he is going to tell his part his name and also also his party's policies so it's very clear that kamal hasan is actually you know is very fast uh, uh, in this and i also trying to we- use the other you know innovative way innovative ways which other parties uh, dravidian parties uh, fail to you know do in tamil nadu politics krishna sanjeevi they are getting us the latest from chennai kamal hasan's entry into politics confirmed and official with that signature into the register are a student peed kamal hasan politician it's a republic exclusive